Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church. It's Monday, August 3rd. Just a reminder uh, before we get started that you can utilize our online connect card, which is found uh, at our website. Uh, for our morning prayer this week, we'll, we will be following a modified uh, format of, of matins or morning praise just found in our hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Behold the Lamb of God. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, the heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. For our devotions this week, it was about a month ago, I did morning devotions on the five big songs of worship. The Gloria, the Kyrie, the Credo, or the Creed, the Sanctus, and the Agnus Dei. Uh, this week, we'll focus on five things that happen in worship, not in uh, the singing part of the liturgy, but five things that happen that may you hear week in and week out um, and maybe uh, wonder why we do it or maybe don't wonder why we do it. It's just something we do. Um, and to here's the prayer then that we grow in appreciation for our why we worship, why we worship, and uh, the meaning behind some of these words. So uh, the first words to consider are called the invocation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A scripture lesson from Galatians chapter 3. St. Paul writes, For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. When we gather in God's house, the first thing that happens is not us speaking to him, it's his declaration to us. This is who you are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the pastor makes the sign of the cross, and the worshipers may trace that same sign of the cross as the pastor's making it. The same words that were spoken to you in your baptism, the same cross that was put on you in your baptism. As we say it in our baptism uh, order of service, receive the sign of the cross on your head, and on your heart to mark you as the redeemed child of Christ that you are. I'm very thankful for our church design. One of the things about our design that I love is the baptismal font from the original St. John's Church uh, placed right there at the center doors. Um, sometimes probably a game is played between the ushers and I. Uh, some of the ushers want to move that further away from the door. They'll say people are tripping on it and I'll move it back and say that's good. Not that people are tripping of course but that you have a hard time entering into our church without being reminded of your baptism that you have a hard time entering into the nave, uh, comes from the Latin where we get navy because the church is the ark, um, that's where God holds his children safe, this family of believers. That's how you entered into it, through your baptism. So it's good that you pass by that font on the way in, and when you sit down in your pews and say your prayers to prepare for worship, 
one of the big pieces of furniture you see up front. It's 185 pounds, that stone bowl, our new baptismal font, to be reminded of that place where you were united to Christ and all of you who were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. This sets the scene for what's going to happen in the next hour. God comes to you and says to you again, this is who you are. This is your identity. Our next devotion will talk about our confession where we haven't always spoken that way and we haven't always acted that way and we haven't always thought that way. But for today, let's talk on his terms. This is how we gather in his house, his baptized. Um, of course, that identity is not just ours for that hour we spend in his house on a weekly basis. That identity is ours every day. This is who you are, dear child of God. This is who you wear, his righteousness, not your own. This is where you are able to act in love and mercy towards one another. This is where you find your rest. This is where you offer him all sorts of prayers and petitions and requests, and you throw your hands up and the Holy Spirit intercedes for you. This is who you are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Someday, I think it's going to happen, where we just gather in his house, and I'll just say those words, and you'll say, Amen, like you mean it. Amen, it's an exclamation point. And I'll say, that's just enough for today. That's enough to chew on for today, and finally for all eternity. That God would love you that much. That he would place his holy name on you, his saving name on you, and all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. In the holy name of Jesus. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, You've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the Spirit to think and to do what is right, that we who cannot do anything that is good without you may by your help be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Before uh, we turn our attention to our closing hymn, just a reminder that the last of our Monday evening Bible studies happens via Zoom tonight at 8 p.m. If you want a link to that study, uh, please send me a text or an email sometime uh, during this day, um, and I'll send it your way. Have a blessed Monday in the Lord.
你。